And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Uh, no Bullshit Society. I know it's our song now, but um, it is one of the best songs to be angry in your car alone with. Oh, yeah. It's a real after-work uh, yeah. steering wheel puncher. Yeah, fuck you, Jensen. I'm not coming early in. What? Fuck, fuck you, this report. Oh, what? My report's going to be Oh, yeah. No, I did fill up the coffee, Janice. I did. I know you didn't. I also know that you fucking cheated on your husband at the Christmas party. Fucking come on, Rage. I see you taking home coffee filters. I see you. I fucking see you taking home coffee time. filters. And I fucking buy dumb shit out of your kid's catalog every fucking time you bring it. I don't need corn cob holders. Corn cob holders? Why do I need corn cob holders? Corn cob holders. The only thing stupid worth fucking sh- kid get a <laughs> basketball uniform. The only thing worth a shit in that's those green fudge frogs. <laughs> keep bringing it, because I'll keep buying them. You really give a little bit of yourself on how much it is. Hey, everyone, it's the Bonfire. Coming to Central Radio, yeah. Sirius XM 95. Mm. We're live on a Wednesday here in a freezing cold New York. Love it! You just I said what you love, love What you love most out of that. By the way, if we had a call screen, I would say great call or topic. Call in and tell us what you've ordered out of that kid's thing. Me and yeah. Christine got magazine subscriptions that we never received. <laughs> Fuck a magazine subscription. you got to go chocolates. That's yeah. the only, it's but only I don't know. I see an apple slicer, and I'm like, when else am I going to be in a position to impulse buy this? It's off-brand delicious chocolates. It's the fucking curveballs. Very of, off-brand. Because you get those fudge frogs. I'm telling you right now. They're store brand. I mean, you're getting Right like into the bonfire, brand. if your kid has a catalog, I promise, depending on how, I, I, I'm confident not that many people write in, but if your kid has one of those catalogs with those fudge frogs in it, but I bet write in. But a shitload of catalogs right now. Do it. Uh, the, first, trying to move. the first five people, I will buy fudge frogs off your kid. Yeah? Love them. You love them? Love them. The green ones? You don't go peanut butter cups or anything like Hell that. Hell yeah, I do. But fudge frogs are your shit. Frog, I'm, I'm, I'm leading with fudge frogs in the I catalog. I the fudge frogs are. What are they? They're the little green, when we get the screens up. They're we'll green? Think. Yeah, they're like green fudge. Um, one of the waitresses from the cellar always, she used to bring Melissa the... Saint yeah, Louis. Melissa Yeah, when Melissa would bring the catalog, I'd always get those. Oh, I wouldn't. I would get a magazine subscription that would never show up in my house. Well, cool. You're an idiot. I had delicious fudge frogs. <laughs> I was getting ripped, taking down trays of fudge frogs. i scratch her face off when I see her. Where's my Rolling Stone? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, here we go. You know we what it was? I'll tell you what it was. Actually, they give you like a voucher that we just never even. Oh, so you have to do. Doing. You still have to do the work. You have to do some work. No, fuck that. Yeah, you have a voucher. No, these for they're a, green a fudge frogs. Let's find the name of them because I am high enough that I might order some online. Are right they now. mint? Yeah, they're yeah, kind of minty. Yeah, that's why I had that. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, mint fudge, fudge fr- filled frogs. They're uh, by the way, dude. Those are Andy's candies. Just for the you're record. an Andy candy. I'll buy you Andy's candies. You'll think I'm treating you too good. Yeah, you will. Yeah. Oh, man. That's how I keep a bitch in line. Oh, you're going to be DeAndre and me. You'll see from the Lost Tapes. Oh, you'll see who DeAndre is. New oh, character. It's so hard when we do a Lost Tapes that's so fun to not bring it up on the live show on Wednesday. Terminator timeline. Yeah, it's total Terminator timeline. We finished the episode. Um, yeah, man, if you've got a kid that's got catalogs and they got some mint fudge frog, mint fudge filled mint frogs. Mint fudge frogs, huh? I don't know why. I don't know why. They're my favorite. The animal ones. All the animal fudge ones. I I like know, it. I Whoever's know. laughing, I'll fight you. I'll fight everyone in this goddamn room. It's Becky. It was a ridiculous thing you just said. Well, you know what, That's Becky? That's not her fault at all. It's, it is her fault. There's one Good review. Judge. Christine, can we see the one review of this? Of this item. It's just me. It's just the yeah. He goes, I don't know what it is about these little mint chocolate frogs. Uh, amazing. You're goddamn right it was amazing. Yes, I would recommend to a friend. Of course you would. 100%. I would recommend to a friend. Oh, the holiday collection. Jacob, Here's the thing, you, though, you Christine, I don't, I don't want to take money out of... Oh, dude, I'll get chocolate-covered pretzels. I go nuts on these catalogs. Chocolate-covered pretzels. Now, if you get an artisan chocolate-covered pretzel... That's what I'm talking about. I mean, next level, when they put, like, sea salt... Oh, well, you're just... And caramel just and chocolate and stuff now. on it. And that's not a hipster. That's a good co- chocolate-covered pretzel. Or also, just go get flips wow. in the store. Yeah, flips is the mainstream. Why don't we have people... Why don't me, you and I go through a couple of people's catalogs and just order candy for us and the crew out of listeners kids do you start sexually harassing jacob do at it. work right look now you, jacob oh, touch his that. butt look at, oh. i definitely have my finger in his butt crack oh. i definitely have my finger in his butt crack can this, can, this can definitely get us kicked off the of air his we way. are in dangerous territory right now jacob look at me i'm do touching you, his jacob, butthole jacob do you feel uncomfortable 
<laughs> then Jay, as, I will have your head, Jacob. I'll have your job. You want to keep working here? It's serious, on. do you? Let me do it. I just give back rubs. Let me get in the action. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jacob. Uh, what if I told you I like it when Jay touches you? Lou, this is Lou. This is the stuff you can't do when you go into your inclusion class next week. Lou, let me show you a couple of don'ts. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> now. Radio. Yeah, you're full haunch. As a business. <laughs> oh, I'm wearing sweatpants too. It's touching. It's alright, Jacob. I got it's these. The material. I got these slate jeans on that fit <laughs> just right. But they're so, oh, so fun. Man, to these mint, <laughs> these mint, mint fudge filled frogs. It's like burglary. You can't fucking ma- say you're it. making your mouth water. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm going they nuts. are, they are generic <laughs> what? shit candy. Fuck you. Fuck they you. Are. Fuck you. They're shit. It's, it's, look at the ratio of mint to chocolate. I know. You're so eating frog mints. I, when I bite into it, I feel like I'm losing. <laughs> <In the Alps. laughs> I'm in the Alps. Uh, whenever I bite into a mint fudge frog filled, filled fuck. Twelve dollars. I bet you get ten of. The, it's like yeah, twenty four. By, by the way, you get charged. You know the number. No, I don't know. You get charged uh, mini bar prices in those things. Cool. Bring it. You think you're getting a deal? What you're do the not. kids get? What do the kids get? I'm doing this for the kids. Nothing. I, all I learned is a pretty these, low percentage of all, the profits you get to keep for any sort of fundraising, actually. Oh, yeah, bring all it. I learned from these I things is, the that I, is that I think chocolate-covered cherries are fucking gross. Yeah, they are gross. And That's the all first I, time I ate, out. The first time I ate it. Did you ever, when you were really little, uh, at your elementary school, well, I don't know if yours did this, but mine around Christmas, Hang they'd on. be like, is this too, is this a lot? Oh, Jacob, is this me there? too? I don't know. Is this me too here? You guys are just buddies palling is around. This is this me too? He goes, I mean, that was nice, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, now how about here? Jacob, you trust me? Jacob's Jacob, I want this, you to trust me. Jacob's coming out of this like a scarred Abercrombie and Fitch model. <laughs> he goes, the, he told me he'd put me on the bag if I, Put his bag in my mouth. <laughs> you can't uh, break Jacob's stride today. We're all coming. Oh, dude, he's all jacked. We're all coming to NASCAR Sunday. We're coming over to Jacob's. I mean, Whitsky, me. Is Black Lou coming? Black Lou's sick today, so he's out. He's not coming. He's not coming on Sunday. He right? got a... Oh, he's got a Friendsgiving. Yeah, Friendsgiving. <laughs> but we'll all be there. Jacob, that coffee cake is about to get the shit ate out of it. Yeah. Be Lucky, I'm, bring, I'm bringing back better, Wawa stuff. Oh, you, you got Wawa? You better hope to God I don't order, I don't rock a mint fudge filled frog order in Winnipeg. Sorry no, guys, I'm too full on. <laughs> guys, I think I got sick from the green dye and the <laughs> frog. <laughs> it I turns out the outside's chalk. It's chalk. I was eating stuff that you could write with. That's a low quality candy, Dan. Okay, well, you hurt my feelings. It really is. But you don't like mint chocolate at all. I would think those are delicious and really exciting, but you don't like mint chocolate. She just piled on. I just let her talk. Hey, she doesn't. Nothing she says makes any sense. She said you because don't. you don't like, mint, like chocolate. mint chocolate. I mean, mint chocolate chips, literally one of my favorite ice creams. God, I knew I loved you. I would, like, what? Have you ever had Mediterranean mint? Hey, I'm going to throw uh, hot co- chocolate on her. Is that... Is that bad? Yeah. Is that, Lou, did you go to your training yet? Is this bad yet? I didn't go, so go ahead. <laughs> he goes, all bets are off. He goes, I'm going to come in here at a hall monitor. Dude, Lou's date. Heard everything we said. She hates us now. <laughs> she hates us. Dude, really? <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, she wait. hates us. Oh. <laughs> I'll knock us off the air, I swear to God. We're, I'm apologizing. I don't want you in trouble. I don't want you in trouble at all. I'm sorry. I didn't know she was a fan. First off, I'm flattered. Guys, let's talk about mints. All right, yeah. You think that girl likes mints? <laughs> <laughs> you just direct it right back. You're having a, well, we're sorry for Lou. Yeah, sorry for Lou. We give him heroin before the show. Yeah, dude, we dope he him up. He know what he's saying. We, we just confuse the shit out of him. He's out of his head. Yeah, so don't be mad. He, also, Lou, you said you liked her very much on the air. That's what you said. I liked her a lot. I did. Yeah. You're good to go, buddy. Yeah, you're back in the saddle again. Back in the game. Can, you, can I get a little Steve Winwood back in the high life again? <laughs> can I be Cause back I, in cause the Because I think that's where Lou Witzke's about to again. be. After this stunning apology, Miss, not only do I want to say I'm sorry for the inappropriate things my friend Jason and I have said, <laughs> but I want to cut you half in on a box of mint fudge filled frogs. We didn't say anything bad. We were, a, 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 by the way, a mint fudge frogs will fix any problem anyway. <laughs> it's the, I'll be duct, honest, will you it's show the up with duct those? tape of candy. You should. <laughs> it, will. it will. It mends anything. <laughs> it's the wacky tape. Even of- with Christine's theory of if you don't like mint chocolate, you won't like it. You could still find a crispy, zesty. He's right. Um, 
No, I think, like, yeah, you said all good things. I think you're still in, buddy. God, yeah. You liked the girl. You were hurt. I you were hurt. was pitching. We didn't say really much bad. I was pitching the... Two-some, threesome. You and your bro go for the uh, go for the OP hole kiss in the middle of the body, bud. Oh, man, a Whitsky bridge? <laughs> Choking on Beth's perfume. That sounds like a bridge in Greenpoint. Yeah, you, go, you gotta go over Whiskey Bridge. <laughs> and then I love the sound of it. Uh, uh, but I say, I'll be honest with you, stop for the bratwurst. Yeah, it's great though. It's a Polish neighborhood. There's a kielbasa place. It'll knock your dick in the dirt. I mean, do, but when it gets dark, they get drunk. So look out. That's where it gets dicey. <laughs> um, you're back in the game, Lou. And you haven't gone to sensitivity training yet. No, tomorrow. Oh, that's when they fucking put you in the. <laughs> <laughs> Lay back. We're going to plug you into the Matrix. The woke Matrix. You're going to be so woke, Lou. Wake him up. I can't. Jacob, you went already, right? I teach you. You already went to sense. <laughs> he goes, I run it. I know what, how to act. What's he? You do now. Yeah, yeah you do. Because Jay's just, Jay set you straight. Thank God. You would have, uh, I mean, fucking six months ago, Jacob would have bronzed Lynn every time he saw her. <laughs> oh, my God. We'd have a real problem with HR at Viacom because yeah. Lynn, if she was in the room with Jacob, pre-sensitivity training. I mean, he didn't even know. He thought that's how you say hi to a woman. Yeah, I did not agree with it. Jacob would insist it was Viking culture, <laughs> yeah. but I He'd did go. not believe in it. He'd say, ga, 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 ga. Uh-oh. I think I dropped my papers. <laughs> Again. Go, Jacob, stop it. Can you stop it, Jacob? I'm the only guy who could fuck this girl. Yeah. Everyone's a Fucking faggot. I mean, Christine had to pepper spray him six times in the first year. <laughs> it was a lot. It what was he a learned? lot. He does learn. He was a lot. He does learn, though, and that's what's good. Lou, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss old Mets hat getting half cocked on a show, Whitsky. Yeah, they don't like test you to find out if you can't possibly abide by these rules and fire you, right? No. Everybody has to go through it. I'm... You can go fake it enough and then get through it. Hell yeah. But you don't have to answer questions and get a score, right? You don't want to find out that you're like a C <sighs> at sexual harassing. Yeah. Right? Or you're a, D, you're a D at racism or something. He goes, but B plus at sharing workspaces. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I am very good at sharing workspaces. There's exercises and stuff. I think you got scored. Can what you kind of exercise? take Do you notes? Do you hold hands with a black person for five minutes? Can it's you... like the Coast Guard training where you have to tread water. Can you take notes of the things they make you do? Oh, totally. Yes. And then we can do them on Jacob the show. Jacob knows. I want to know what he's in for. His best friend is a black so guy. Jacob's taking bets right now. Jacob's going, okay, how you doing, French Fogs? Yes. Yeah, I got that I got that at a plus three and a half. Yes. You want to parlay it? All right, so Steelers, are you going to go money line? Fantastic. <laughs> I go, I think Jacob's, oh, running a, Jacob's running a bookie fucking gig out of our yeah. studio. Want hold? Bet. All right, you've reached bettot.com. Bet tot. All right, bet yeah, they're giving you the best prices on the internet. You want the Timberwolves to <laughs> cover? Ah, oh, you're a betting man. Huh? Hold, please. All right, so it's 150 to win 100. <laughs> you're cool with that? There is no vig. I'm not going to cut you in on it. <laughs> Three team parlay. Someone's stepping up with some nuts. <laughs> any any calls about uh, me buying fudge? Filled frogs out of catalogs? He told him to email you the catalog, in fairness. He didn't say email me. I, I, I said reach out. No, man, I think you said email. You said write. I said write? <laughs> <laughs> now you want a handwritten note. And send me the catalog with a self-addressed <laughs> uh, a self addressed stamped envelope, and we will mail Or that back. thing ain't coming back. Yeah. It'll be filled out. You want to live here? Well, I'll keep it. my money, and you'll keep your stupid mint bags. And I'll poop looking at your catalog for the next three months. Your mint fro- I feel like the boy in you just wants to, like, eat little frogs. <laughs> I do. Goddamn right. I think you like the shape. I, I think you think an Andy's Candies is an old-timey, like, owning a Buick or something. I love and it. You, you know why? You I could never, We. I was never allowed to buy the candies when I was a kid. Ever. Ever. So do you hate, do you hate old candy, like old people candy? Like, yeah. one of my least favorite. I like Werther's Originals. How about, a, how, about, how about the caramel that had, like, a bar of cream in the middle of it? Oh, that was gross. What you is know, that cream? Did your dentist used to hang out, <laughs> my dentist would hand out candy, which just seems, I mean, it feeds itself. It's smart. That's how it starts. Yeah, but the strawberries, mm-hmm. you know, that are in the strawberry thing, you take it out, it's like a lozenge, but then it's chewy. Those yeah. are the best. I love them. <laughs> really? <laughs> Love them. Fuck them. Oh, I love them. Oh, I can turn into like little pieces of glass in your mouth, though. <laughs> I know. It's so little good. glass shards. <laughs> the candy is wrapped in a picture of what the candy is going to yeah, be like. Yeah, it's a strawberry. 
Ugh. <laughs> Love you them. like those? Love them. Those are real uh, waiting for your grandma to fin- finish visiting with your aunt. Yeah. Uh, candy. Yeah. It's some dead office shit. I like an Andy's yeah, candy. Yeah, those. I like an Andy's candy. Oh, those are gross. What are those called? They're strawberry candies. <laughs> strawberry candies. I mean, what else could you possibly call that? And you could probably buy 40000 for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> you own the company if you buy $10 I mean, worth. You they definitely own. own half of it if you spend they, 10 bucks. You own. But the best $4 for a pound. <laughs> <laughs> a pound of those soulless candies. So stop saying soulless because they're not soulless. Because they're, they're almost they're hollow. The pound, there's going to be, you don't have enough room. on the inside. You have to kick out Vecchio. Bye, Mike. Bye, bitch. Bye, Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. bitch. Strawberry. Candy. Strawberry. For my roommate. Hi, bitch. Hard. Bye, bitch. Chewy. (laughs) Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Yeah, dude. I'll fucking buy the shit. Oh, they look so unappetizing. Man, you really like gross looking shit. Hey, man. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not lying. I like, don't you like, like a macaroon? Like, what are your, you? How's your favorite thing, like a macaroon or something? Do you just like saying macaroon? It's a great word. <laughs> macaroon. You know you love macaroons. I don't like macaroons. Come on. Why, you're not like coconut anymore? If that's, if you, are you still a child? Do you no, think olives coconut. are gross I and love, coconut's no, I bad? Love, olives are gross, but I love mounds. No I olives love, you like. I don't like any olives. Would you try some olives for me to prove you're an adult? Because I also, I've I never it. liked olives. Okay. But, there's some olives, dude. You can do like a black olive. It's a straight black uh, olive. No, 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 no. What they yeah. use on pizza? Yeah, I a hate it. Kalamala olives. Kalamata. Kalamata. Fucking really? You can eat a. You, I'll tell you, you, you can eat a jar. Of those. How about this, Jay Okerson? This Sunday at Jacob Tots. Why don't you bring over some olives and I'll try them. You get a good. You get a good feta stuffed uh, yeah. green. I've never been there, but I'm willing to go. I'm talking about eating olives. Yeah. Pit or no pit, I'm here for it. Dan, am I being me too right now? Is this me too? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, now you don't like it because you can't harass Jacob. <laughs> this is what happens when What's your power is taken away. This is what happens when the patriarchy I feel, crumbles. I feel defenseless. Good. And I feel good. Um, no good. one's writing in. No one's writing in. Man, about you their... really want these things. Dan, <laughs> I'm, I'm good. sure you can get them. They, they, they was, pull the that trigger. was a line. We could order online. They were $12. Pull. I know, but I want to help someone For 24 t- bite-sized candies. Love them. You're overspending money on that. Maybe I'll be out on the range in Red Dead Redemption eating some fudge fogs. I wish that that game hit me in any level that it's hit you on. I love it. I know. It's just I can't. You got to get into it. I Dude, I'm so busy. So are you. How do you also live a full cowboy's life? I don't sleep, dude. I sleep on the range. (laughs) I'll sleep when I'm dead. I sleep when uh... I... Thank you so much, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. I won't be reporting that Me Too we just had now. Oh, dude. That that molesting moment you just did to me, I'm going to let that go because you fixed everything fine. Well, in his defense, we have it on camera. So, countersue, buddy. And next time, work both nips. You got to even out, man. (laughs) I'm ready. <laughs> um, get the tapes. Get the tapes right now. We got the tapes. Erase everything you saw. We're going to take this case all the way to the top. Luke, Christine, dump it. do a rape kit on me. Do it now. <laughs> we'll take him down and all of his engineering buddies. We'll run this place. Dude, rape kit me. What's, I'm trying to think of another candy that I thought was just heinous that I bet you like. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> such a I thing. do like my grandfather used to have Mary Jane's, but I mean... I couldn't think of any other reason to eat those. Remember those root- you're going to take your teeth out. What about those root beer barrels? Those hard candy root beer barrels? I'm okay barrels? with a root beer barrel. Didn't hate it, but it, I didn't love it. But, but I'm telling you, do you remember Mary Jane's? I don't even know what those are. Do you, do any, yeah, I mean, they are the hard. It's supposed to be like taffy consistency, but it's the hardest. Did you like now and later's? No, it's like a now and later. I didn't like now and later's either. Because, yeah. Oh, I love these. <laughs> yeah. Four dollars a pound. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I remember these. Dude, there's no way you're not going to lose it too. You get a crown, dude, it's coming out. Oh, I loved Mary Jane's. Yeah. Hell yeah. Damn. I remember those. If you have any Do you like sugar, work, sugar babies? It's coming out, buddy. Do you like sugar babies? Love sugar babies. Milk but, I'm, but I'll tell you what. I like sugar babies. I like a sugar daddy. I like a sugar daddy, too. I'll live it on the stick. I don't I'll, give a yeah, shit. Yeah, I'll put it on the side of my mouth. Like, I'll tell you what different times of the year is. It's overrated. Uh, on Halloween, but the rest of the year, I think a little underrated is a Tootsie Roll. Oh, yeah. But, and they give it out too yeah, much on Halloween, up. and you're over it. Oh, 
Girl Scout Samoa's Garth or something tweeting at it. Yeah, dude, fuck mint fudge filled frogs. No, some... Garth, you're right. Fuck those mint filled fudge frogs. It's they are insanely. It's they're no, cheap. I'm not it's shitty. Listen, why can't we can live in a world with Samoas and you love fudge? Samoas? Love them. Do you love them? Love them. Then you love macaroons. I don't know if I can keep doing this show with a guy who's going to look me right in the face and tell me lies. I don't. Like I love macaroons. you to death. I thought macaroons. I want to be with you the rest of my mac- life. What are but macaroons? we need honesty. I think honestly, I don't know what macaroons are. You know what? There's two kinds of macaroons. Well, I mean, there is this, all this slander in online. In fairness, baby, no, no, you know I get, baby, you know I get. No, no, I want to go on Doctor Phil. I'm going to change. I'm going to see your car. You, I'm out of my mind. <laughs> I'm out of my mind. Tagalongs and Samoas are the two best. But there's two kind of macaroons. The what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, those are also because and the, no, those, those, those ones I hate. Those look grotesque to me. I, I don't even just, know what that is. That's what I thought a macaroon was. That's why you're yelling at me. But look look at what I mean a macaroon is. Man, you're a macaroon. Christine might masturbate to this picture. I've made her really grow to love macaroons. Would you always love macaroons? No, I used to hate coconut. Oh, the, I've had chocolate-covered macaroons. Yes. They're great. And those are Those are what's up. Those, I didn't know those were macaroons. I'm dumb. Yeah. Oh, there. Show them the picture of the chocolate hey. ones. All the way on the left. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, that's yeah. just the best. Yeah. But that's a taste also when but I was I don't was like young. the circular small sandwich ones. No, I don't even know what that is. But I've seen them. I just don't know what they even taste like or anything. Oh, but uh, what, uh that's test. a flavor, though, too. When I was young, hated coconut. Yeah. The idea of coconut. The only one that hasn't changed for me, the two flavors that haven't changed that I just can't stomach at all. It's coffee, black licorice. You don't like coffee? What do you want? Co- coffee? No. The flavor alone. I've... <laughs> Can you do an impression of what I do when I get a little coffee in my mouth by accident? <laughs> no, no, no. I go, I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's what you, watching you eat mushrooms at Bonnaroo was funny because you were like, same thing. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. So I'll tear. Just, I'm going to tear up. But it's so funny because I'm the opposite where I'm like, <laughs> okay, gone. It's gone. So is Christine. It's gone. She, eats them like they're, yeah. she eats them like they're good. Yeah. I'm like, it's like we're eating like stuff we found in tire treads. When I started doing mushrooms in high school and I, I went to college, people, oh, like I could get gagged thinking about how awful that is. But people are like, oh, I, like, I like to take a, a bagel and put peanut butter, then I put the mushrooms on it, and I'm like, just fucking eat the mushrooms. Oh, yeah, don't be a child. Just fucking chew them up, have a soda, knock them back. Go shake hands with God. Do we have, is, is this the start of a Sublime song? Is this April 26, 1992? What the fuck? With, with that radio? Did you hear that radio? mm yeah. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> so wait, play April 26th night. It sounded like the legit beginning of that. That's really hilarious that Jacob, that was just a call. Jacob's on. He goes, all right, yeah, so I got you down. Are you going to take the, uh, you're going to take the Nashville Predators? <laughs> St. Louis Blues? I don't know if you can. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Oh, I'm taking a lot of calls. Uh, I know we can't play this on the video, but. G-Man man. in Virginia says ribbon candy. Was like a old people. What was ribbon candy? Look up ribbon candy. He goes, I don't know if you can get it. Can you get an owner to Ons? That like That's it? ONS groceries. I like, now I'm never going to be able to hear the song without thinking of Jacob on the radio in Sublime. I don't know if you can. Can you get an owner to Ons? That's ONS. Get an owner for Ons. That's O. Junior Market. What's all like sour? I've had that. I mean, those. That's are like great. fruit by the foot, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, is fruit that by what the you foot, mean? You're, I mean, you fruit by the foot is the shit. Yeah, G man, is that what you mean? Like fruit by the foot? Well, that's gum, isn't uh, it? No, it's 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 a hard candy. Oh, oh, a hard candy called ribbon candy. <laughs> hard candy yeah, called ribbon. It's the most disgustingest shit. My grandma used to keep year round on her coffee table. Oh man, I mean, I think we we're all in agreement. The best grandma candy is where there's originals. Those butterscotch. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, a butter anything butterscotch. Butterscotch I'm on board. Is just fucking fan. Good job, butterscotch. Good job. Good really? job, Tasty Cake, for recognizing making their flagship cake, the Butterscotch Crimpet. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a hard knowledge of Tasty Cake. I know Enemans. I'm from the school of Enemans. You know, when was Enemans flagship thing? We all know. Yeah. Come on, what is it? Say it with me. Powder you know. donut for me. Powder donut Coffee is cake. the quintessential Entenmann's? It's the chocolate donut. Yeah. Chocolate with covered the, with, with the, the yellow, yellow cake in the, in the middle. Yeah, yellow cake, chocolate donut. I'm in a powder donut guy. I'm well, suiting. You know, listen, she I. I'm not right. saying that that the butterscotch crimpets are my favorite uh, tasty cake. Even I'm just saying that's their flagship thing. It's the most unique thing Hostess, of their original stuff. Hostess is what the cupcakes with the swirls and the Twinkies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ho hos. That's Hostess. Ho hos. I mean, little here. Debbie. You got the Swiss rolls. Man, this is. I go ho ho over a Swiss roll every day of the week. Really. 
every I go Swiss roll. I'm, I'm team Swiss roll over here. Love a Swiss roll. That was one of the only, that was, man, my mom loaded up on snacks. We had a good snack cabinet. Fruit by the foot, gushers, Swiss, Swiss rolls. Hell yeah. Oh man. I could, they couldn't do that in my house. I had a problem with all those things. I was like to have it for lunch and dinner. Oh yeah. You were busy being athletic. No, I wasn't athletic at all. I was busy fucking smoking butts and playing with my wrestling toys. I was eating while doing voices for my G.I. Joes. I was outside ripping up marble going, I think I'm going to have Papa Shango yeah. the Undertaker. I wonder, what my G- I wonder what my guys are doing right now. <laughs> you think my guys are beat up? That was a pretty rick, wicked Royal Rumble. <laughs> uh, we'll come back and talk more candy when we uh, come back. But first, before we take a break, before we take our first break, yeah, I do want to talk about the American Red Cross. Um, Helping California out. California wildfires are going insane. I mean, north still. and south. Still, my right friend, now, my friend to, today everything. told me about. Apparently, there's a fucking crazy picture of you could see the fires from the telescope in space. Really? Yeah. Jesus. Well, thousands of these people are affected by California wildfires. They urgently need your support. If your donation can help the American Red Cross meet emergency needs, provide shelter, and give hope to these families, please donate today. There's so many people are displaced. Thousands upon thousands of structures destroyed, people's yeah. homes, everything. People are uh, not everything. just uh, L.A. celebrities, just people, man, people yeah. who live, and they uh, they need your help. So. If you can go to redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS to donate to California wildfires, your support is critical. Uh, we can't do it without you. We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. Fucking ain't right. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh. So, so, so for real. What a Candy stage. rain? Oh, it's so much sweet. Remember that one? So much sweet. I remember this. So much sweetness. Oh. You did know this song. I knew this song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. My... I think I was making out my pillow to this. That's badass. Yeah, that is badass. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh. Thanks. Oh. Oh. I threw oh. some good dick to a lot of pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah. oh, oh, Man. oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God. I can't wait for that one to fucking get in rotation. That drop is <laughs> one of my new favorite drops. I can't get enough of it on the oh pre-tape. My oh my God. <laughs> Man, when you guys listen to fucking Lost Tapes this week, yeah, sometimes when we get a new drop that I really like, just it's say hard it to, to, It's hard to sit on But it. I say it out loud to myself going through the airport. Like this weekend, I'll be traveling. Definitely in the airport. I'll oh. be going like... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Big J is going to be in Philly this Thursday through Saturday at Helium. He's coming home, so sell it the fuck out. Going to be at Helium, Philly, Thursday through Saturday. Then December, uh, November 29th through December 1st, he's going to be at the Punchline in San Francisco. For all tickets, go to BigJComedy.com. And, of course, go stream his special on Netflix, his half-hour special of Degenerates. Episode 1 is out now. Fucking awesome. Go watch it. Dan Soda, Rumors, Winnipeg, Canada, November 15th through 17th. 17th, that is this weekend. Yeah. After that, he's going to be at Laugh Boss on November 20th through December 1st. Get tickets for that and all damn shows, dancesoder.com. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's not the one I'm talking about. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that one. I like the whole thing together, though. I was like, oh, my I God. I like all, everyone adding to it makes me laugh more. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god! 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 Um, you had you said you had something. Well, Lou, this genius on the on the boards over here, what? ditching out on Sex Island. Not going to go. I haven't found the reason why yet. You, do what Jacob you said, Jacob? lose out. I, I I don't have an enemy to go to Sex Island. Who? Which one of you told Jay that lose out for Sex Island? Jacob. Told, I told Jacob, and of course he snitched because he's a good producer. Yeah, he is a good producer. He's a great producer. Which and means, snitched isn't the right word. It's not the right word at all. We're getting ready to throw a deposit down. I was going to go with you. I was going to walk you there and then come home. <laughs> and just smell you. I wanted to smell you afterwards. That's it. I just wanted to just radiate off you. I just wanted to <laughs> hug you and feel all that. It's all we wanted. Hot Central American. Uh, do you want to know the reason? Yeah. Yes. Sensitivity training? <laughs> I, uh, I'm Too many blacks? To, <laughs> I'm yeah. going to a football game. I'm going to see the Jets uh, play the Houston Texans. and uh, You don't I'm, care about that. I don't, but J.J. Uh, Watt is um, a buddy of mine, and uh, he invited me to go in his private suite. What? 
That trip. sounds like such a lie you'd say at a bus stop. <laughs> you know, my dad's friends that's with a Joe lie. Mon- yeah, my dad's friends with Joe Montana, so we are going to go to his house, and he's going to teach me how to throw. You're friends with JJ Watt, that just comes up out of nowhere. All I know. I don't look like a sportsman, but he, he actually is though because of you know through Pete and Sebastian, right? Yeah, I'm on a group text with Pete, and Sebastian, and JJ Watt. Uh, took a shining to me. <laughs> how awesome is that? He's leaving it up for JJ Watt. I mean, look at that. It's a once in a lifetime thing. I can't have sex with these goddamn gross whores. Yeah. Yes, you can. How about this? It's the whole thing is you're going to have sex with them. Why don't you tell it's your... It's called Sex Island, Lou. Why don't you tell your new best friend, J.J. Watt, that I'll fly him down to sex No. <laughs> fuck that. Not a Texan. <laughs> Not you should have become friends with an eagle. Yeah. Be friends with uh, a 49er and uh, I'll turn my apartment into Sex Island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because I'll put a wig on my fist. And oh my man, are you gonna get, are you gonna get stewed up in his in his private box? Yeah, you know you don't know how to act. You're gonna <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> I sure don't. You know you have no idea how to act in public. You're gonna go, You're gonna go in a suite. There you go, Texans. I'm more of a I'm more of a Cowboys guy. You're gonna get kicked off the group text. <laughs> oh, I hope you wear a hey. I hope you wear a Mets hat to hey, it. Hey Lou, can I talk to you? Did you get drunk with JJ Watt? <laughs> Did you get drunk with his brother? I introduced you because I thought you'd get along. Does Why he... would you do that? Uh, are, are, you going, are, you going with, are you going with Pete? Yeah. Okay, so it'll be you, Pete, you and Pete there. Yeah, and possibly Sebastian. Okay. I, I don't know. It's like a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Yeah, I think you I got to do, do it. it. You got to do it. I, I mean, those it. hookers will be there next year, right, yeah, guys? Absolutely. No way. This thing's getting shut down by the government somewhere. It's, it's not. Not when it's fucking in where it's at. Dude, it's on an island that's it's cool. It's too out there now, nah, man. man. It's nah, too man. out You're there. You're saying they're Sex gonna... Island went mainstream? You no, know, they're shutting it down. They're gonna, this thing's not going to last. You're saying Sex Island went pop. <laughs> that Sex Island went jock? Dude, it went jock pop. It went <laughs> fucking jock jams. Looks like Jacob. Oh, yeah. I bet in J.J. Spot. Watt's uh, suite, you're going to be able to eat sushi off a girl's pussy. By you know what, Lou? What, what do you appreciate? By the way, he comes back. He goes, are, you, are we dead? <laughs> he goes, wow. Dude, he goes, it was a pretty crazy suite. He goes, J.J. Watt gets freaky deaky up in his, his... I know he's not there, By the but way, he sets it nice for all of us. Where are you going to it? The Jets. Where? At MetLife Stadium. Lou Witzke learned so that going... Sunday that he was friends with J.J. Watt for the wrong reasons. Hang on, I just want to tell you something, As Lou. a blistering cold settled in, Lou Witzke settled into his glass of whiskey. Seven glasses later, Lou Witzke declared himself head of the Watt family. <laughs> I'm your dad now. What are you guys? Oh, you faggots! Can blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, put on Pearl Jam. <laughs> just put it Here's out. my question, and I want to just take the validity of this. Okay, your once in a lifetime opportunity to go into JJ Watt's suite at the game between the Jets and the Texans in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Now, <laughs> just throwing out facts I know here, Dan. Has a best friend from high school, Middle a guy school. whose penis he's seen. I've never seen Mike's penis. I thought you told me you did. No, I've never seen Mike's Do you like talking about it now that it happened? No. You, forgive him. You have to forgive him and move on. He's done things for you now. No. Um, his dear friend. Good friend. Very dear friend. Good dear friend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who is a coach. True. For the team. Yeah. Coach. He's, oh. a, coor- he's a coordinator. Got uh, me... And Dan tickets to see the Niners in the Eagle Stadium True. from almost across the street. <laughs> <laughs> now, J.J. Watt's got a suite at the away stadium? Buddy, I think you're going to be sitting in some bleeds with P. Corielli when you could be getting fucking sucked off by three Brazilians at a pop. <laughs> that is the risk I'm going to take. Do you want to be a... A puppy mama? <laughs> or do you want to just be sitting in the bleachers being cold? What do you want to do? Get eye, mm-hmm. eye, eye all over your tits? <laughs> or do you, I mean, really? Uh, we brought up an article. I've read this article multiple times. The New York posted an article on the quintet that started Sex Island. And it really does read like the guys you would guess that would start uh, Sex Island. Is there it's, a, vi- is there it's a, video a quintet of, of men, including a hedge funder, a nightclub owner, both based in New York, who frequently host and attend sex parties <laughs> around the world. That's got to be such an energy that gets old so quick with those so guys. So quickly. So quickly that you're like, dude, I don't care. Everything, like, everything's goes, a fuck fest? He goes, you know what's crazy is, you guys ever, uh, 
you guys ever played gin rummy? Fuck gin rummy? And you're like, why do you do it? What? No, it's, it's like, it's like yeah. we all, oh, every Wednesday we ran out a whole movie theater and then we do like fuck movies and we all fuck while we watch the new Jurassic Park. <laughs> and you go, I, if you're a T-Rex, you get to fuck a velociraptor. If you're a velociraptor, you get to fuck one of those spitting dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that energy gets so fucking old. That's why I said, uh, he goes, how about we just play video games for a little bit, man? He goes, can I ice my dick? Yeah, I just came. I just came twice in the same day. I'm 35. You're lucky I don't pass out. I'm telling you, they are banking on that. Way early in the game, you're gonna fuck your dick raw, and then not want to fuck very much anymore. It's just such a funny conspiracy theory to have. To be like Jay, Jay walks in, he goes, "I know raw dick." If you're a prostitute, if you're a prostitute on this thing, front load your pussy. I yeah. mean, go hard first day, and you probably won't have to work hard at the end. Yeah, dude. And notorious RGA has a good point. JJ Watt would totally understand a prior commitment to Sex Island. Yeah, piece of shit. He's like, dude, game schmames. We got sixteen of these things. It's only one weekend for Fuck Island. I know he's your butt buddy now. Your words. I know he's your butt buddy now. <laughs> And I'm saying what you told me right now. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I think I'm divulging private information, but you called him your butt buddy. You said, and, uh, my and butt I buddy, quote, JJ Watt. my butt buddy, J.J. Watt. <laughs> um, what do you think is going to happen? The, well, I'm gonna he's meet, playing. I'm going to meet him afterwards, maybe get down on the field or close to the field. I don't know. No, oh, and, Lou, and Lou's mind, it's a Mean Joe Green moment, and yeah. J.J. Watts is going to toss his jersey to him, and he's Lou's going to be hammered in the hallway. <laughs> Lou, Lou's hammered in the hallway of the stadium, he's like, I'm not supposed to be down here, Mr. Watt. <laughs> no. Mr. Watt. Mr. Watt? No, nah, it's going to be fucking, uh, it's cool. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good meme. Lou is so creepy. He says people to his shining to him. Oh, that's good. That's his fun wordplay, Sarah McPain. JJ Watt took a shine to me. So you're. How do you know that? He told you. Well, I'd be kicked off the group text if I wasn't a little bit cool. True. If you just keep a secret. It'd be great if there's another text with JJ Watt and those two guys. Going, <laughs> oh man! Can you get your fucking dork ass <laughs> yeah. uh, engineer off this fucking show? Lucy's, and they go, Lucy. dude. I go, it would kill him. Honest <laughs> to God, every day he's hanging on by a thread, looking for reasons Lu to live. Please, God, Pete, please. Lou's sitting next to Pete in the bleachers, and Pete goes to text JJ, and it's a different fucking thread. And he goes, oh, oh, shit. What's, what's that thread? And Pete goes, "Don't worry about it, bud. Don't worry." No, not that. He texts the wrong thread. Yeah. He goes, "Oh, he goes." He's, he's mouth guy's eating three hot dogs. And it's like, he's really here for the free shit. Yeah. And he is loaded, and he is dropping a lot of pencils trying to look up skirts. JJ, uh, heads up, Lou just said the N-word to your mom. And then he and sends it to Lou gets the brings. Hey, look, looks like JJ's going Texas from the field. And he goes, oh, whoa, what? Ouch, guys. Hey, all right. I like free hot dogs just like the next one. <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were sweet. <laughs> Head on a pillow, baby. Made of concrete. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be Lou in the box. <laughs> you guys ever listen to Pearl Jam? Live. Freeze Rest his head on a pillow, baby. Concrete. Yeah. Uh, the quintuplet. I want to get back to these guys that started Sex Island. It's, uh. I thought Lou was going to finish it. So did I. I thought he was coming down there like a hurricane. Um. Look Dude, these guys dude. will be around next year. What? Sex Island's parent company has hosted roughly a dozen private events, ranging from bachelor parties to boys weekend for a group from Saudi Arabia. Oh, man. That is some taken shit. They just had an island where they're like, the, the sultan is coming in today. I assume the girls are ready. I look forward to having sex with many women. Women from across the globe. Fucking ah, oh, it's so weird. Did you see? Did you you read you read the whole article a couple of times? Because there's a thing in there about like a girl, a guy said they just wanted to keep one of the girls. Oh yeah, and it was like. And by the way, it wasn't he paid clear if he bought the girl or not. But I'm like, you're just selling humans. He paid ten thousand dollars, and he goes, and then he gave my friend five thousand dollars to be cool about it. And you're like, what? What? Yeah, because a friend liked the girl too, but it, it so you're like, is Go this down, human I, trafficking? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lou, so you think it's more once oh, in a lifetime to go into a fuck? Are you so white garbage? Right you there. think it's more once in a lifetime to go into a box at a fucking losing jet season than it is to go to Sex Island? The same guys who organized the Saudi, Saudi Arabian, Arabian boys nights. He goes, this, they set up the bad guys and take him. You're right. Take it happens because of these guys. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Probably a guy just bought a woman, and right. you're. But this is more unique experience, I guess. You don't know who I am. 
You don't know what I'm capable of, but I have Jets tickets to see the Texans. Oh, I'd, love, love, I'd love to get involved, but I'd like to... I have a particular set of skills that make life for people like you very difficult. <laughs> also, do you want to go see the Texans play the Jets? It's a regular season game, but J.J. Watt's explosive off the line. In the article, it says not all of the private events go off without a hitch. During one of the parties, a client became enamored with a particular prostitute. What is the personality of the hooker? Well, that's what I was trying to explain, Jacob. Probably he, good. Yeah, it's probably right. Uh, <laughs> he really, really liked her, Tony said. He was like, I want to keep you. Right, the only right. problem was that she's a person and a human being. <laughs> it's a, it's the only problem. The only this problem. is the only problem. Yes. This is that a, is an obstacle, baby. Uh, the only problem was that his friend also liked the same girl. Oh, what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. However, Tony said the man, the men came to a resolution when the amorous client gave the girl $10,000 and threw in $5,000 for his buddy. Uh-huh. Uh, what? So she's just his thing now? Yeah. Oh, man. He went to Sex Island and bought a woman. Dude, this is You're so- going to get free hot dogs in a booth. Congratulations, Lou. Good choice. Oh, but don't worry, guys. They've had girls volunteer who just have volunteered to come and offered not to get paid. What? Yo, Monica, yo, you got AIDS, yo. R.I.P. Greg Geraldo, one of my favorite jokes of all time. Is that how broken our healthcare system is? They just want to party. Oh, yeah. Dude, if, if you're a girl, could you imagine dating a girl and she's like, oh, my God, I I signed up to do this thing called Sex Island. You're like, what's up? He goes, what are they paying you? He goes, I just go to party. Labor of love, baby. I get it in. <laughs> you ready to watch your girl come back walking like a sheriff from the like, 19th century? Who are you going to be fucking out there? He goes... I don't know. Anything. Cuban warlords. Uh. <laughs> I have fucked some dangerous men. I fucked some smart men. Some handsome men. Some handsome men. Some not so handsome some men. Some real slobs. She has a, some real bowls of pudding. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, I don't know. This Maybe the I, Jets game is the right choice, Lou. What's going on? Christine's looking for employment. Uh, guess, do you, you want to work on no, Sex Island? I'm not hot enough to be a whore. Oh, <laughs> if you don't take any money, you just do it at the party. Most of the women are from South America, so they probably think there's a way to a passport in this. Yeah. These pros can get men hard in condoms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. They really can. It is true. Um, okay. <laughs> along with the bevy of beauties, drugs will once again be readily available. I don't think they're shutting this thing down, dude. I think we make it to year three. WrestleMania three. No, whatever island they found where all this is legal, the drugs, the prostitution, everything, like they've just said up camp at that island, and so all their yeah. events now are just being booked in this. <laughs> we had a guest well, ask if he could bring island. a kilo of cocaine on an international flight, and we told him that wasn't the best idea, Tony said with a laugh. <laughs> a kilo of cocaine? I wish. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> yeah, that's Pete Wentz's laugh. Tony explained the Sex Island crew would steer, steer guests in the right direction towards their drug of choice once they arrived. This is something that the fucking marijuana industry did, that is so crusty, where they just act like it's like high class, like you know what I mean. This is I'm a connoisseur. That was something that they really tried to do with weed at first, where they were like, "Let me give you." Let me, we try to steer it in the right direction. We whatever drugs these guys are going to fuck. They want dick drugs and shit that makes them want to fuck. Yeah, they're literally doing drugs and fucking hookers. Yeah, and, and it, like, it's somehow like a classy it, event. And, and that's like the whole like. But fucking, there's sweet potato chips in that girl's nipples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guys oh, yeah. are sweet potato. Those are probably pantanos. Oh, yeah. But it is. They try to make it sound like it's this thing where they're like, for so long, sex is looked down upon. But we have an island where men can enjoy themselves. And it's like, yeah, you found a country willing to let you open up a whorehouse. Well, this I is love just the, I love like to keep telling on the mystery Canadian rap superstar. I mean... Is Drake? Drake? <laughs> Who else is it? Drake? <laughs> Look up popular Canadian rap superstars. Oh, it's going to be the word Drake a lot. I hope it's fu- I hope it's a crusty second tier guy that we can get behind. Cool G rap. Yeah. <laughs> is Snow? Snow is Canadian, right? Infama. Oh, oh. His name's Vermont Mike or something. Oh, <laughs> oh look, it's Vancouver Brett. <laughs> Coming at ya. Oh, yeah. Dude, if snow was at Sex Island, that kind of would be awesome. I'm glad Lou's not going because after what he did yesterday, he falls in love with the wrong girl. I think he would be an island wedding. If he oh, goes dude. To Sex I need you guys to come down and do a bonfire from Sex Island. 
Yeah, I'm booking it off season. The, the final piece of the Good Girls Company's pervy marketing campaign is merchandise. Merchandise, please. Should we get hoodies? I mean, why would we not? Sex Island hoodies. No oh, backpack? Oh, dude, Sex Island store. Go to Sex Island store. I like the Good Girl store. Okay, well, I'm I'll not here for girl. the girl. Oh, should I get a backpack? Sex Island backpack? Good girls. Dude, it's so funny if you have a coffee mug at work, and they're like, where'd you get that, Rich? Goes, why would you get the phone case? Why the fuck would anybody buy the phone case? I mean, uh, why is it offered? I don't know. I want the throw pillow, though. <laughs> he goes, you piece. went to Sex Island? They go, why would you say that? You're from, <laughs> oh, Jesus, yeah. I know, oh, right? God, I guess it just screams into the world. Anyways, yeah, there was a bunch of sad women that had to be paid to be with us douchebags who are... I get a lot of puss. Yeah. I know you do. We get puss. it. All right. I mean, to be that horny, you really are an asshole. I think it's just some people that six thousand dollars means nothing to them, and they're like, "Ooh, that might be fun." Yeah, there's also guys that there's also guys that really put their identity into being like, "I fuck a lot." Honestly, yeah. God, also just the the hang and fucking Whoa. of it would all be, I think, extremely uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Like fucking just a bunch of models over the course of the weekend does not strike me as I know. I think you're you're like all right, this is like weird. After you come, you just have to be everyone. Yeah, men and women. After you come, there's always just this moment. And you're of like, hanging with models. Uh, that doesn't sound fun. And she goes, I don't eat. You go, okay. So I was gonna get chicken fingers. It's like TV, we still have TV. You watch TV? Oh God, no. I'm studying Meisner. Okay. You watch SVU? She goes, you know, let's put out a lot of emissions, destroy the, the environment. Fucking... Goes, that's S that's SUVs. <laughs> SUVs. <laughs> <laughs> you watch SVU. That's, that's, that's SVU. And then the guys, it, it, it just make you want to punch a wall. Where they go, yeah, I make like 30000 a month. And I'm just like, basically, all these bitches just love me all the time. And I just like, I fuck myself to exhaustion. <laughs> yeah. yeah so today. I just need a vacation, but not far from Fuck Island. <laughs> but I need to stay tested. To fuck island. <laughs> I mean, there's also boogie boarding there and other I guess. stuff. There's the guy that's the, the guy that's alive peacock. There's, there's the guy uh, that's sick of working at Sex Island, where he goes, yeah, yeah, I'll bring lube up to room two thirty three. <laughs> Cause can I get a, can I take my smoke break? Yes. Well, good. Yeah, I said it was going to be a summer job, but here I am. Lou, good job choosing not to go. No, I think you're an idiot. But it's uh, that's just one man's opinion. I think you should go to Sex Island. You think Lou specifically should go to Sex Island? Absolutely. But Jacob just said he falls in love too. No, easy. I think anybody, unless you are a crazy diehard Jets fan, or especially diehard uh, Texans. Texans fan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you've been to the party before, man. You're getting a box again. A fucking stupid box at MetLife? Come on. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. How about if I introduce you to Warren idiot. Sapp? For... What? Can you introduce me to Warren Sapp? Oh, sure. Idiot. Guy had the fastest first step in football in fucking eight years. If he's back in New York ever, oh, we can get Warren Sapp. Does anybody know William the Refrigerator Perry? No. I'd like to meet him. Why? I don't know. I don't you know. want to meet the fridge? I, I can make that happen in five minutes. Let me get on my phone. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'll follow him on Instagram. I, follow me back. I DM. Boom. Oh, who's this baddie? You're talking to Danny Sodes right now. <laughs> who's this baddie? That's what we say. Very cute. <laughs> who's this baddie right here? <laughs> this fucking... Goddamn the lost tapes. There is... It is so fucking... You're just going to hate the dude. Yeah, he's very hateable. So fucking hateable. We get into the Autumn Row, uh... Autumn Row, the girl that called in. I've lost my mind. I've lost my mind. I've lost my mind. Uh, We're going to take our second break, everybody. We'll be right back with you. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Ow! Trying to get some some of those fudge frogs. Damn. Sex Island, dude. It really does. Jacob brought up a point. If you're a fan of 30 Rock, it does look like the MILF Island logo <laughs> from 30 Rock. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM, 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big Joe Christian. Uh Lou Witzke officially out for going to Sex Island because he's um, he's down low best friends with J.J. Watt. Who's left? Know. Christine, you want to go? I just want to... I would more go for fun, <laughs> than, yeah. well, good but not like you. with whores. I'd want to be there with like other girls that were there for fun. Yeah, they are. No, they're there for money. Well, it says some of them just go to party. Yeah, I'm sure they say that. Some just love the lifestyle. Some just love hanging it. out with oversexed bankers and fucking d bags that are willing to spend six thousand dollars to go 
fuck a bunch. Do you fluff yourself and then put the condom on? Well, I would imagine I that would choice. have to be that. Yeah. I mean, uh, you grab the base if you have to. You can't just put it on all mush. Yeah, that's yeah. impossible. Yeah, it's like trying to put a condom on fucking yeah. can cranberry sauce. You ever, put a, you ever put too small of a pillowcase on a pillow? It's a disaster. <laughs> During the blowjob that you're allowed to touch her tits and her boobs. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that's just standard. Yeah, that's SOP. Basically <laughs> <laughs> standard. That's <laughs> standard operating procedures right there. <laughs> um, can we get to the article of the woman that slept? We never talked about this on Halloween because we got into that haunted house and that guy falling. McKinney Manor. McKinney Manor, which was so much fun to talk about. I could have talked about it for three more hours, but we skipped the story that we just really... the guy that molests and tortures you yeah. for... In Four ca- hours. In khaki shorts. Uh, but we were talking about... His name's Russ. Russ. <laughs> yeah, there's this article that I was like, we have to talk about this. And there's video of her. She's British. Was there any video? Did someone say there was... Who was I think it might have been Alex uh, Scarlato or something. Send me a, a video. The guys from Sex Island, like, they you, they talked to them at some point. There's a, no. video, there's a video of them being talked to. Yeah. No, I mean, if there's that, we got to go to that before we get to this ghost story. If yeah. we do get to this ghost story, but I'm saying, if there's a video of the five, the quintuplet, I think, the smart five, the yeah, s- I want to say the yeah. freaky five, the fucktastic five. What else are they? Fucktastic, dude. They're five. like, let's guys. Why don't we start an island, a sex island? They're by op five friends who came together. Over the Sex love of life. South American professional pussy. <laughs> it's lit. Yeah, dude, Romo would definitely be there. My man, Roman. Bombums. By the way, Ooh. uh, was, I think I'm gonna name my new horse in debt, Red Dead Roman. <laughs> <laughs> How many, are you killing these things a lot? No, man, I got a stable. I got a stable full of bitches. I'm just kidding. So. I got a stable full of fake horses on a video game on PlayStation. I'm gonna, if I get that white Arabian horse that I told you about, I'm gonna name him Billy Hoyle. But I'm definitely gonna get. I might name him Roman. It's a good name. Oh, oh you did. So Man, I wish they had more videos up. I'm so. I, you know what's funny is I occasionally do get bummed that she blocked you and I or reported us on Instagram just for doing three episodes making fun of her and her boyfriend. She's not as great as she used to be. All right, it's me. All right, she's falling off. I don't know. Just the uh back down to Danny Sodes contacting her getting unblocked on Instagram. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Oh, look at the fuck shway. Am I wrong, Christine? Nothing. I'm looking for it. I'm not finding a video. I reached out to Alex too. I, I think it maybe it wasn't her. Maybe I just mm. blew it. Damn. Whatever. Well this lady said she banged a bunch of poltergeists. That's close. It's pretty cool. That's like a sex island on a different astral plane. Yeah. It's sex it's like dimension. A, sex dimension. Oh, dude, this this lady was like, yeah, good luck, losers. Why don't you bang a bunch of prostitutes? I'm going to fuck dead dudes. It's cheaper. Cheaper. Is this the clip of her? Far more cost efficient. I want to marry and start a family with a ghost. Is she British? Yeah. Of course. It's pretty but, juicy. Look at um, that. Um, the met- ghost wearing a lot of ruffles and uh, oh, did look very it, dusty did it look buckles like, on his shoe. Was the ghost possibly wearing a powdered wig? <laughs> yeah. Does he have like a position like Cantor or something like that? <laughs> Duke, uh, du- Duke. Duke. No, Duke. Damn it. Get out of it. Come on. This didn't happen. Um... This is a real presence in your in your life. You're a spiritual guidance counselor. You're used to this sort of thing. You open up channels to the other side. I guess, oh, none, of these ghosts, I I, guess none of these ghosts are gay. That's why he's letting them walk around with that hair. Yeah. Oh. oh. And he goes, you open <laughs> channels to the other side. She goes, I guess you could call it that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being cheeky. Something's open to the other side. Oh. She's, she's cute. What? I don't know. I'm trying to be positive here, dude. We're about to dump on this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> trying to put a little sugar before it gets real sour. She's all right. <laughs> hey, right? She's all right. I mean, for ghosts, it's good, dude. She ain't bad for a chick who gets gang banged by ghosts. She's a gang bang seven or eight. Here, I mean, she wants to have a baby with a ghost, which is, I just want to hear what she has. She say. has. She just did. You see it? Oh, I had a baby. <laughs> oh, I had one too. Hang on. Ah, oh, 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 it's quadruple. Oh my god, I'm such the luckiest woman in the world. I'm not showing. I have a ghost belly. It's a ghost pregnancy belly. So yeah. Yeah. At uh, this person, this this presence. Um, can you tell us anything about him, her, it? Um, 
I refer to it as him because that's easier. Yeah. Um, it's very ancient, very wise, very kind. Has been so you the... like older men, is it? I can appreciate that. An older, <laughs> older gentleman. My boyfriend is a Revolutionary War soldier. And he goes, cool, cool. My girlfriend is Cleopatra. <laughs> so... Oh, I feel like you're lying, though. I know. I feel like you're <laughs> yeah, not she's, being honest. She just runs into another person that claims it. I think you're being kind of a dick to Daddy, me. Are you, you lying? Just... No, 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 no. I'm no. playing on them all. I'm oh, playing no. on them all. Marin, Marin Hang on, stick with that lip. And Nicole Smith finish up. Oh, oh, oh she's oh, a yeah, naughty... Oh, she told me off, she did. Oh, she's a bad bird. <laughs> oh, this bird right here. She's a real baddie, she is. She is. Oh, yeah. When you see a baddie, you, you go for it. My boyfriend's a 15th century street sweeper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been working out all day. Figure I'll come back and put a baby in you. Hey, only hours work. You want me to give you a good ghost shagging? Oh, yeah. You ready for this uncircumcised goat stick? <laughs> you ready to put my spectre in your spectre? Hey, hello, how are you? How are you, little, a little Sherlock and Watson? Ah. Uh, <laughs> For a very long time, yeah. yeah. So when yeah. did you first encounter this presence? Um, her name is friend. Amethyst Realm. That's not really true. Just said her name was Amethyst Realm. Oh, yeah, she's from a whole, like, hippy-dippy. Is she Irish or British? I think British. Oh, why? Do you think you saw Amethyst was British? I don't know, because the guy's voice sounds a little Scottish. Well, let me he go back to her name. Amethyst. Are you out fucking ghosts again? Yeah, Amethyst Realm. Amethyst, Amethyst Realm. Realm. Oh, I want to marry and have you a baby with a ghost. I don't know if she's Irish or British yet. This is confusing. <laughs> when did you first encounter this presence? It was um, in the well, Amethyst Realm. Australia, <laughs> in, the walk, uh, in the bush. In the bush? And just suddenly... It approached me. And is this yeah. something you can see or just something you no, feel? something you feel. So, yeah, just like a physical, <laughs> an emotional, sort of physical presence. Why and was then, this one different? Because you, you've had the... And then I got squirted by a super soaker and I heard a voice go, you're cute. <laughs> Sorry, I finished on your sweater. <laughs> Encounters before Zayman said you were a medium. So why was this so personal? Why was it, the feeling different? You knew my name. It was weird. He goes, he finished, and then he asked me if I had any hot friends. And it really <laughs> hurt. He's a dick. It hurt, goes, but it made me want him to love me more. <laughs> did you bring him some of your friends? Yeah, I did. I brought him a lot of my friends, really. He shagged my friend Robin. It hurt. <laughs> I watched the whole thing. Turns out he died in 1988 in a car crash. He was just a coke dealer in the local neighborhood. <laughs> Meanwhile, Robin's just laughing, and she has uh, some fishing line to her pussy lips, and she's just going like, oh, yeah, he's giving it to me. Oh, 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 oh look at that. Oh, she's oh. puppeteering her own pussy lips. Going, <laughs> uh, oh, there he is. Oh, oh. He's in. Oh, he's giving me a good he's rogering. In. Oh. Oh, you thought he liked just you. He's been oh, a philanderer, oh. ain't he? You're right here, you dirty scumbag. Oh, you love fish, it. The fish line's really hot. <laughs> it sells the trick, but it really... <laughs> it really sells the trick. <laughs> but man, it sells the trick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, you know, we no, none of us expect to hear this story. Um, did you expect this story to happen in your life? Parliament. What you do as Big a Ben. Guidance <laughs> no, not at all. No. You never take your no. work home with you? <laughs> When you and he um, talk, what do you talk about? Um, it's really difficult to explain in terms of normal, like, earthbound relationships. What? It's a bit deeper than that. We don't have a new Oh, you asshole. Of course, you're wearing yoga pants saying you're deeper than all of us on she that. She didn't want to give an answer. Like, what does he say? He goes, we just talk about his ghost day. And He's in a ghost fantasy football league. That <laughs> yeah, takes up a lot of time. And he makes me watch the Jets, but I, I want to go. I want to go to Sex Island. <laughs> if I could, I'd go to Sex Island. This is ridiculous. Is this, this is just not considered mental illness anymore like somebody can say they're gonna whatever a ghost or marry a ghost and we're like oh no we need to accept what? this i convinced like, christina was a ghost for the first few years of our relationship <laughs> <laughs> no one else can say me i hate. died 40 years ago <laughs> christina goes cool. uh, 
I drag raced off of Coogan's Bluff. And then you have to do a whole, I have to do a transfer, you have to do a, I'm gonna cross over just for you. I'm gonna give up heaven for you. And Christine goes, oh my god. You're like, oh. and then Dave's like, hey dude, I go, yeah. What's up? What's up? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, 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 I'm doing this, I'm doing the thing that Christine, she tells me I'm still a ghost. Yeah. Honey, just give me one second. Hold on, I'm transforming into a Sorry. I'm back. I'm back in the, 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 the nether world. I need you to help me escape. Only your love can make me real again. Hang on one second. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, no, buzz in. Yeah. Buzz in, I got you. Uh-huh. This guy. He goes, is there extra cheese? The host. Is there extra cheese? Because I ordered it. Well, the, look. Did you fall with this thing? Yeah. The all host. Right, dude, you just take it. Just take it. Take yeah, the tip. Yeah, go. tip included. I go. The host. Sorry, I'm back. The host is, this guy's so great. The look on his face right now. Yeah, like, it doesn't say he's buying it. Oh, well, you look like you're full of shit. So these guys are coming by. You're yes, banging you your real shit sandwich, yes. <laughs> it's seven. About emotion and feeling and connection. But you, you may be, you may be, you may be feeling and connecting a bit more than, <laughs> you know, more than that because you feel that you're going to connect to such a degree. Am I right that you will have a spiritual or physical baby? Baby. I hope so. What, what, yeah. spiritual or physical? Um. More well, than that. I hope physical. I don't. I hope so, this lunatic walks around with a, a piece of her own shit and wrapped in toilet paper for for a week. She goes, you want to see my baby? Goes, you want to see my spirit, baby? He goes, oh, oh God. Oh. oh, Amethyst. That Amethyst. is that is gone. You got to throw that out. Amethyst, I'm going to puke, but real quick. <laughs> what are you eating? It's not supposed to be lime green like that. <laughs> are you eating a lot of fruit? Is that blood? Drugs? How many days has this been out of you? Have you? <laughs> it's hardened. Did like you put a, Google eyes on a piece of shit? <laughs> No, what do you mean, it's me baby? It's I have with me ghost boyfriend. It's half ghost. That's why it looks like it's, that. Amethyst, is this the baby you have with your ghost boyfriend? Amethyst. She goes, well, ghost husband. Well, <laughs> made me an honest woman. We married. Oh, okay. We wouldn't have had a baby out of wedlock. We wouldn't. Oh no, you know what it's like working at the ghost center. <laughs> he goes, yeah, I know. I answered calls at the ghost center next to you for five years. All right, guys, I'm gonna go cross over other worlds. Talk to my boyfriend now. You guys wouldn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't understand. It's too deep for the human realm. Bye. Hey, can you give some privacy, please? We have sex with my ghost boyfriend now. <laughs> <laughs> About to go get drilled out by a guy that died when they thought the earth was flat. <laughs> Is this Florence from Florence and the Machine? Everyone, <laughs> fuck a ghost. <laughs> Touch everyone next to you and say I oh, love you. Do you feel the love? Good, because we're about to dump some ghost dick in this room. Relax your eyes and look between realms. Oh, feel the ghost dick in here. Close your eyes and look again. Yeah. Oh, so his penis is floating. Yeah. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> Everything's glitter. <gasps> Florence. <laughs> it's actually a real pregnancy, but you have a phantom inside you rather than a human baby. Oh, Excuse that's me. easy. Um, Christine, so if you ever get the itch, we could definitely have a phantom baby. <laughs> You're not a ghost. Uh, oh, am I not? <laughs> not you a ghost. Think, I can't have a ghost baby when you're not a ghost. Listen, here's what I'll do. I'll go out one day. I might be gone for a while, but I'm going to come back. I'm going to go to the ghost sperm bank. Oh. I'm going to get you some ghost shit. Yeah, make sure you get a ghost And then we'll put, we'll put it in you, and then you'll have a phantom baby Whoa. in a... I don't know. You call it a day, nine months. Do you want to make it legit, or you want to just start this thing up the next day? You want, it's, 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 you want a preemie? Yeah. What do you want to do? You want a ghost preemie? I'm sorry. There were complications, Christine. Oh his phantom umbilical cord was around his phantom oh neck, God. and he lost blood oxygen to his brain. He goes, oh. he, he's alive. Oh. He's don't worry. He's very much alive dead. I'm but. having a phantom challenged baby. Yeah. It's going to be a real thing. Ooh. Mom, ooh, mom. Uh, you go, it's gonna be ooh, mom, ooh, mom. It's gonna be very mom. complicated. Ooh, mom, uh, mom. She goes, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time focusing. I have a 
Special needs ghost babies. <laughs> Christine starts getting, start, starts getting offended at comics that do ghost retard baby jokes. <laughs> goes, oh, this that ghost must not... be retarded. Okay. All right, you know what? Is that funny? <laughs> is that funny to you? Is that funny? You know what I have at home? I have a seventh month old that is mentally disabled and a ghost. Do you know the kind of Oh, she just sits there in the park and has her tit hanging out with nothing <laughs> happening. And she goes... Uh, you, something, something on your mind? You want to say something? Say <laughs> something. This is beautiful and natural. In another realm, this is looked at as beauty. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> so aggro. <sighs> oh, it's a phantom baby. So it comes on down and doesn't cry at night. So I sleep properly. <laughs> You push an empty fucking stroller around. You can't Christine, we can, we can have a phantom baby baby shower, though. That's pretty oh, exciting. Oh, I'll come over for that. A, a phantom gender reveal party? Before I buy a present for a phantom baby, though, I'm coming over with baby powder, and I'm throwing it around. <laughs> I better see an outline. Where, Where, is is yeah. Where is this motherfucker? All right, bro, just show me. Show me footsteps or something. Dude, soda. I had to drop 90 bucks on a rug doctor. Because <laughs> you were over there with a the fucking... So, so, if you know how Christine gets, can you please just say you see the phantom baby? <laughs> Oh, no, I want to prove that this thing's real. I, I watched that Kevin Bacon movie. I know how to get him. He goes, I'm going to hollow man this shit. <laughs> uh, dude, you cannot stop on this guy's face with him believing her. Even for a we take our last break and come back, and then we can go straight through? Oh, man, we got to take another break. Yeah, last one, last one, last right, one. we got a couple more reads we got to do, buddy. Yeah, we'll take That's how we pays the bills. Welcome back to English Ghost Baby Chronicles. <laughs> we will shall return with all Mythius Greyhound. Is she pregnant? Did the Duchess of the other world impregnate her? While we're saying all this horrible thing, should we remind people again that thousands of people are affected by California wildfires? They yeah. urgently need to support. Um, so if you could help the American Red Cross meet emergency needs and provide shelter to these families, donate today to California wildfires by going to redcross.org or calling 1-800-RED-CROSS. They really could use your help. It's, yeah, it's man, pretty terrible. It's happening all over the there. state. Um, again, redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS if you got anything to spare to help out with these people that are losing their homes, losing everything. And uh, it's fucking some shit up. So if you can help out, that would be awesome. Redcross.org or, again, call 1-800-RED-CROSS. We'll be right back. See, we have hearts now. Yeah. We'll be coming right back and get back to retarded phantom ghost babies. <laughs> yeah, it's all a circle, dude. Right here on the bonfire. I ain't afraid of no ghost, and sometimes I want a new drug. Ow. The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big Jokerson. Before the break, we were taught, we were watching Amethyst Realm, mm -hmm. a woman that has... Family name. It's a feminine. Has dated, has a ghost boyfriend. Of the Australia realms? Uh, actually, of the UK realms. God, different clan, Jay. The Australian ones have sex with animals, not ghosts. Oh. I don't say that. I'm sorry about the realm family. If the realm family listens to this, I am so sorry. Phantom baby. Phantom baby. She's going to have a phantom baby. That's where we left off. Yeah, hang on. Shave 45 guys looking in the studio. Just got to grip back hard at them. What's up? Cool. Do not, blow, up? Do not blow our rep in the new What's studio. Up? Hang on, Dan. I got this. What's up? Problem? Oh, eyebrows up. Away. Dude, you're so badass. They knew what was up. I know. Oh. Badass. Goddamn Who's right. This guy? You know what else? You know who this else? White guy hangs up? out with a lot of black people. What's up, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Don't make yourself the mark, buddy. I'll drop you just to pad the stats. Oh, Jay would love a tomato can to knock around. <laughs> Speaking of keeping it hard and gangster, he's going back to Philadelphia this Thursday through Saturday at Helium. Go get tickets right now. BigJComedy.com. He's going to be there Thursday through Saturday at Helium, Philadelphia. Then November 29th through December 1st at Punchline San Francisco. All tickets at BigJComedy.com. And also go to Netflix and stream a special as part of the Degenerates. It's a half hour. It's fucking great. I'm so go excited. On. For both those gigs, particularly two great fucking clubs. I'm gonna sell man. Philly out every show so bad, so bad. We'll see. Thursday's hard. Mm -hmm. Friday and Saturday should be golden. Mm -hmm. um, Dan Soder is going to be at Rumors in Winnipeg, Canada, November 15th through the True. 17th. After that, he's going to be at Laugh Boston, November 29th through December 1st. Get yep. tickets for that and all Dan shows. DanSoder.com. We'll plug everything else at the end of the show. This. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, you're so excited to go play Red Dead Redemption? I can't. I, I got to go home and pack and then fly to Winnipeg. Are you taking it? No. No? I got to get some shit done. If I took it, I'd get nothing done. Yeah. It's all snowy up there. I was talking about... Should I bring it? Probably. If you're that into it, dude, bring it. Late night, you're up. 
Why not? We got media on Friday. Yeah. I mean, I don't but know you're sleeping there gay. Saturday night. Oh, man, I don't know if you call that gay. Well, I don't know about gay. I don't know about gay. Try to do it. Four guys keep, 45 guys keep walking. Can you hit him again? Hit him again. Man? You know, you're from Stop, fucking bro. West Philly, dude. Jacob, back me, up. back me up on these faces. Jacob, I need you to get hard. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, that's not what I needed. Yeah, that guy looks like the Black Eyed Creator Westworld. <sighs> Jeffrey Wright. Love Jeffrey Wright. What yeah. a talented actor. Mm. All right, let's go back to this video of Phantom Babies. Sounds like I don't like Jeffrey Wright. Yeah. Mm. I, I got, know uh, They had a dust up back in yeah, the 90s. <laughs> Jay and Jeffrey Wright had a problem back in the day. <laughs> He's sweating it hard. Um, Where's the ghost? Yeah, where's Phantom? There he is, not believing her. It's because the people that have them don't understand this or sort of comprehend. That Wait, hold possible. on, back up. Is she trying to say people that have miscarriages don't understand that they're just having phantom babies? No. I, I think, think she's connected watch. a lot of dots there. I don't know, watch. Just the, really, take it like that. We don't ever manage to carry those to full term is because the people that have them don't understand this or sort of comprehend that that's possible. But I'm hoping through understanding what's going on with my body, I'll be able to, yeah. Would you actually you, would you be able? Would you be baby? able to actually deliver a physical baby? Is that what I you're saying? I don't know. I'm not sure what it will turn out like. What if it's like a huge ghost? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what if it's just a sheet? That would scare the head out of me. Oh, no. Is a sheet with eye holes? <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. oh. No! Uh, she goes, mm, I know a couple of kids I wish were ghost babies. <laughs> be a physical, a child. Yeah, yeah, whether it be in spirit form or human form, I don't no, know. No, you idiot. Yeah. No. It's not physical then. Yeah, that's not physical. Because will be a physical baby. form. She goes, yes, you know, the physical <laughs> form of a invisible spirit. <laughs> Dude, interviewing the producer that had to interview this dink, where she's like, I've had sex with over 15 and I'm looking forward to having a ghost baby. Oh. Like, the pre, you mean the pre interview person? Yeah. He was like, all right, we're just going to, you know what, we're going to push you through. Was, you think you're going to have an actual, like, physical baby, or you think she's going to be like a spirit baby? She goes, yes. Yes. <laughs> a physical exactly. spirit baby goes, yes. I'm going to put down yes. I have to go pick up my real child from the emergency <laughs> tent, so I'm just going to push you through to the next round. God bless. A lot of people wouldn't understand their miscarriages. They're just you queefing out phantom children. Yeah, oh, the, you left. Where did you leave your babies? At the hospital? <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, those uh, babies didn't survive. It's actually a tragic thing. Yeah, but it's what she's describing. Like, yeah. that, was, that was going to happen. Not go full term. I always make the mistake of thinking... Because it, because of the accent, like I think English people are much more intelligent. Oh yeah, then you just I've made that this. mistake a lot, in my yeah. life. Then you hear them wing enough shit, and, and you're, you're like, like oh, this is a "Fucking idiot!" <laughs> it really turns out they are just fucking gravel chomping, no fluoride teeth. At. Yeah, God, put some turn hard. In. Yeah, but this is the extreme these limey, version of these uh, limey fucks just out there spreading lies. This um, is the extreme version of uh, a girlfriend in Niagara Falls. She's yeah, in Niagara Falls. I uh, know he, he's a ghost. You wouldn't know him. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know ghosts? Is there, do, oh, you well, go to, stop do you go asking to the, questions. Do you go to the ghost high school? <laughs> and you don't know my boyfriend. He's the quarterback of the ghost football team. I used to just date all vampires and werewolves. And I got like, I hate it. They got so many issues. Vampires <laughs> are like, they change on you all the time. I like loners. These guys are all family dudes. It's like, ugh. Wolf I got packs, belong. vampire covens. No thanks. I need a ghost who just, I like a guy that's independent, comes and goes when he wants. <laughs> Between this realm Can't and the other. Can't be held such a bad boy. Oh, he's got a ghost leather jacket on. Sometimes he goes back to the netherworld, and he lands his phone for a couple of days, and I just love makes it. me jealous and hot. I love it, and I know he's got an X on that plane. I know he's got an X <laughs> on that astral plane, and he's just like... I know he son. sees her. He doesn't tell me when he sees they her. They get but... coffee, because they're like legit friends. <laughs> <laughs> like they're ghosts, so they have a lot just, in common. I'm doing my best not to get jealous, because they also... I should have said that before also. He's got a phantom baby with an actual phantom. She has. And, and so, a different spirit. And his phantom friendship. his phantom baby from his first marriage means a lot to him. And I love that about him. It's why I want to have a half human, half phantom baby with him now. So how are you guys going to make this family like uh, come together? He goes, do you understand anything about quantum physics? Oh, my God. You have to flip <laughs> the physical and the spiritual world for in order to shake up. It's like when you mix something. It's like, why am I doing this show? 
You guys don't get it. You guys don't get it. Oh my gosh. The 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 ghost or presence, whatever you like to call it. His name's Philip. Um, <laughs> <laughs> His name's Marco. Uh, you can call him Philip. He's fine with it. Or Phil, if you're familiar with him. You met in the Australian bush, and you had to leave Australia. Yeah. And you were feeling very sad about was, leaving yeah. this, this presence behind. Mm. I was but chased out by a necromancer. Dude, this is so funny. Go back. Her, her fucking... Her ghost husband lives in Australia. It's just a guy sitting behind a bush fucking with her. And he goes, yeah. oh, I think this goo believes it. She really thinks I'm alive. I'm a real ghost. That sucks to have... You have a ghost husband and he's not present very much? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm very busy, babe. Ah, you, come on. <laughs> yeah. I oh. got four houses a haunt, a mental asylum. I got a little boy I got to scare the shit out of every night. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking busy. I'm, yeah. Baby, I'm packed to the gills. I'm trying to keep a little bugger in line from over in Liverpool. He goes, sometimes when people stay at a hotel, I like to fuck up their experience a little yeah. bit. I got to go turn on some sprinkler systems in a hotel lane. Oh, I gotta move a cart of food up and down a hallway for a little bit. I can't. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm blowing out <laughs> candles in castles all night. This excuse to get out of dates. Eva, goes, I'm I was sorry, thinking we go see a movie. He goes, oh, babe, I totally forgot. I have to walk through the back of a picture that won't be developed <laughs> for two weeks. <laughs> that one will notice me. Oh, I got a photo shoot. I hate to say it. I'm sorry. I have to be the third thing under a <laughs> under a sheet that's hanging up. Uh, the first two things are other things. But was that third oh, one there? Baby, it's going to be me. There's so much wood that needs creaking. <laughs> I wish I could, all the wood would creak itself, but I can't. I'm the one dragging these chains around these castle steps. Yeah. And for what? For nothing. You can't take care of one phantom baby, one man. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's go. She, last, she left her boyfriend in the Australian Oh, was just fucking uh, UK Hoda? Yeah. Feeling very sad about was, leaving yeah. this, this presence behind. Mm. But then whilst you're on the plane, tell us what happened then. Um... Oh, yeah, I was really sad because in my experience... He was sitting right fucking next to me. Oh, Son of a bitch didn't let me go. Dude, please he goes, yes, I do. You look at the window, she goes, he was running down the tarmac next to the plane. Isn't that Stop so the romantic? Stop, Stop the plane, he says. He was on the wing. Because you go, that then was an episode of Twilight He climbed Show. up the wheel well. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking out the window. He's on, uh, Phillip's on the wing. <laughs> There's a man on the wing. Sir, what? There's a man on the wing? It's something. Phantom. <laughs> I know need him. I'm pregnant with his phantom baby. Let him in here. He wants to be with his family. She's going to jar the fucking door loose. I gotta get to him. No, 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 no. <laughs> Spirits tend to be quite static, and so I thought I'd had to leave it behind. And then whilst I was on the plane, she suddenly realised it surprised me and yeah, come with me. I'm trying. I'm trying to understand this. Is this similar to being possessed? <laughs> almost. No. 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 It's, I can't it's much my, stupider than that. I have a, a real question for you. Where did you fall? Where did you <laughs> fall and hit your head? Because you're a fucking loony one. Who did it to you, girl? Uh, who, who did it to you? Who did the damage? <laughs> who did? Oh, see, so use your sky miles. How did you get on the plane? <laughs> Just wondering, because someone bought a ticket. I'm sure of it. Those flights that I stay Could you imagine having a girl argue with you that you're sitting on her fiancé? <laughs> Would you mind switching with my fiancé? That empty chair over there. Why do I... Why do I... <laughs> he goes, sir, it's, it's a middle, it's like it's a we middle don't get seat. to be together much, and I just want to... I get nervous on flights, and he calms me down. He, he goes, said, that, that's a middle seat. I can't do a middle seat. Yeah, I just, sir, please. <laughs> I... Can you not think about yourself right I know, now? But it, I need. I requested a window seat because it's a flight from Australia to UK. Can You're I, a fucking dimensionist. And he goes, oh, okay. You know what? I'll sit. I'll sit. I'll get my stuff. Watch out. I think I left my laptop. Can you move? Move your feet. You're a phantomist. What is this? You're a dimensionist. Oh yeah. The, uh, William Shatner. Some thing. There's a ghost who's in love with the woman. It's John Lithgow in the movie. Yeah, that's the one I know. The Twilight Zone movie is fucking terrifying. There's something on the wing. Some thing. On the wing. She's talking to her boyfriend right now. Hello. They're like, is this fucker here right now? <laughs> is he looking at me? Is he touching me right now? He's been having sex with Chico. He, he, he put his testes in your water. <laughs> 
is similar to a normal earthbound relationship. Just well, my except, partner happens except, to be a spirit. Except it's not, like because it's not. no one can meet or, or yeah. see or greet or see the, the love that you are experiencing. So I'm yeah. trying to, to imagine what this is like, and I'm thinking, maybe this is like having a really nice dream. <laughs> yeah, that you can go back into and opt into whenever you want. She's gotten so good now at like giggling and just knowing that people think she's bonkers. So she's because yeah. she just goes, ah, she, you just accept that this is what people are going to do. Yeah. You're going to make up your wacky story. Yeah, and you're like, I'm and you're like, oh, yeah, 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 I'll tell people that. She's like, sure. I mean, the balls to go on TV and be like, yeah, I'm dating a ghost. Hi, I'm Dan Soder. I'm in love with a ghost. <laughs> when we come back. I want to talk about her. how the love came. Here she is. <laughs> you just got to be like, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. She's a firecracker. Here you go. Uh, yeah, dude, that can do it. Right. <laughs> you go, baby, baby. No, uh, not during the show. Uh, oh, uh, did you do the bite? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I like yeah. side mouthing it. Uh, I start randomly getting a ghost, a ghost hinge. Like, whoa, whoa. Oh, baby girl. Oh, you don't know oh, when we get home, huh? Someone's getting handsy right in the middle. You go. <laughs> oh, oh, baby, I needed that. He goes, this weird for you guys? Blue, Chris. Blue, run a bit. <laughs> I don't know, bring up a fucking Sean Fury interview. <laughs> Someone's tickling my belly. What are they in my belly? <laughs> run a bit. Ooh. <laughs> I wanna, I'm That's so, nice. I'm fascinated by this woman. Cause she's so full of shit. She has to be, right? Ghost, ghosts aren't definitely real. Definitely real. I'm definitely awake. You're but definitely awake. So when you say you're definitely hey, awake, so there's you're stop. awake. Oh, you're putting a fishing line on your vagina, yeah. There's, there's a part of me that just thinks that you, you're crazy. <laughs> Did you have to smell a lot of paint fumes as a kid? <laughs> She's like, oh, I huff. Oh, <laughs> that's how I met him at a huff party. <laughs> I met him at a huff party. I was in the woods smelling gasoline and he showed up. <laughs> You go, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. We met at a off good. party. This makes so much sense. Oh, you met, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm putting, off you party. know what, I'm sorry, I wasn't putting two and two together. I got it now. <laughs> I got it now. You're Adds right. up. Got yeah. Adds up. Feeling, are you, are you being touched? Are you being held? Are you being kissed? Are you being, or is it just all conversation? All of it. Sometimes, yeah. And that's just like a normal relationship. So you get excited, you yeah, get you turned on. You saying that, but it's not a normal relationship. I, I lose it. I'm guest hosting. I go, Lady! <laughs> go, Dan, any follow up questions? Guys, it's not a normal relationship. You can't wear those moron pants and come here and tell me this nonsense. I mean, are you warming up? What are you doing? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you did, mm. you did say that actually on the flight back from Australia, um, you did actually yeah. go into the loo and do Just what some people do. a member of a Mile High Club, yeah. No, shut the fuck up! You're a member of the Mile High Club with a ghost? No. That is, no. They don't even is, know what a mile is. Yeah, that's a, it's a kilometer, you dumb we're asshole. In the, we're in the kilometer high club. I mean... What an asshole. She just, she just lied. We did what people do. Just piss and shit alone. What, yeah. what, do you, like, what do you mean? She, she came out and she's like, oh, I'm feeling really randy. I'm sorry. Hey, she messed her own hair up. Yeah. She, she was, oh! Yeah. Oh! She comes out silent. She tits out of a bra. The guy, the guy sitting uh, by the me door. sorry. The guy sees her coming out of the door and he's like, hey, she's in there alone. Yeah. She's in there alone. The guy on that flight had to be like, dude, what the fuck? She scooped un, she scooped, uh, unstirred yogurt into the front of a condom. She goes, sorry everybody. Physical evidence. <laughs> sorry. Physical evidence. I'll, I'll throw on this the out. Condom. Physical evidence. <laughs> what you gonna do about that? She's just saying shit that like, she should fuck one of these sex island guys. Hell yeah. Because he'd be like, oh yeah, is your ghost boyfriend like a fuck all the time? She's, She's like, like, you don't even know, but we just had a nine-some. Nine-some. We out with the entire dead Marshall <laughs> football team. <laughs> well, I hope you like sloppy 31st. <laughs> so I just got gangbanged by the dead Marshall football team. We are Marshall. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh my God, that's so tragic. Is it? Because I had sex with Buddy Holly. The big, the big, yeah, big bopper. The big bopper. <laughs> Richie Valens, my father would kill me if I fucked the Mexican boy. Uh, and then, uh, 
Me father would not like me to be with the Mexican boy, but Big uh, Bopper. Ah, uh, good God. Buddy Holly. Oh, yeah. Hello, human. Hello, human sex. Oh, this is ridiculous. He's actually lost a lot of weight since he died. He's healthy now. <laughs> I find we have kale smoothies every morning. <laughs> This is so dumb. How do we just get to this? She goes, I like me husband because uh, he eats a lot of pineapple. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. His ghost come taste sweet. <laughs> and why did you need to go into the loo to do that? If True. you didn't see that presence there. Because, you know, wouldn't be able to get into it on the seats, I guess. So even yeah. then you felt you needed to be private? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, I mean, the guy's got to be. Uh, that goes. Did you use your finger? Like, what did you do? <laughs> that guy. That's the face where he goes. Yeah. That's the face where he goes. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna ask her if she fucking finger blasts herself. <laughs> he goes. He goes. Sit here. I don't care if she leaves. I, I, I fucking leave better. <laughs> fucking get go. Oh, I hope she leaves. Oh, did you fuck a ghost? Did you use your finger? What was it? What was it, lass? It's a baby. A lot of people don't understand. Dude, this is... Uh, yeah, we got two minutes left. We'll get Fantasy, to Fantasy, perhaps. You know, that you're imagining... I like to keep giving her a chance. Goes, but you're making all this up. This is, these are it's lies. fine. And she's like, no. I understand why you would say that, but... I look behind us no. being like... I literally was like, oh, we have like 15 minutes. We can get to the end of this. And it's two minutes left of the show. Oh, <sighs> no! I know. <laughs> all right, let's just get a little last taste. You have these feelings because you imagine them, not because it's actually a, a ghost. Yeah, I mean, for me, I know that it's real, and but I don't know. It's my it's yes. my relationship. It's personal. Mm. I don't mind so much if people disbelieve. Or no, really, it's personal except for getting getting fucking railed in the bathroom by mm. nothing. Yeah, but oh man, by a stiff breeze, a stiff breeze. Like, do you fuck the plunger? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, yeah, what? You mean Philip? Oh no, Philip used to plunge on me. But he's a crazy one. <laughs> <laughs> Philip's a bit of a shag master. Oh, he's a real guy. Um, I think we just get back. Beautiful. I think we just. Wa- there's probably more stories in this lady, and we could talk about it another time, another day. All right, fine. Whatever, dude. Watch I'll tell you what? at the bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that shit. DanSoda.com is going to be in Winnipeg. Rumors this weekend. I'm going to be at Helium in Philadelphia. Flip Del- tomorrow Delphia. through. Saturday, uh, please come check it out. Let's fill those sons bitches up for both of us here. And, and watch um, the YouTube videos. Go on Comedy Central. They're putting up the YouTube videos. Uh, they work their ass off on it and they come out so fucking cool. So go watch them. Yeah, we're trying also, we're trying to make sure Lynn doesn't press charges on Jacob's weird sexual harassments. Yeah, Lynn's pretty intimidated by the old batat before the training, but he's good now. He's caged, declawed. <laughs> he's, he's good. He's, he's good now. Animal. Now he's got to get Lou. Now he's got to get Lou, and then we'll be a woke ass show. We're pretty woke already. We're woke up. It's just mad woke. Uh, uh, I, don't Becky? See, I don't even see living or dead. I just see ghosts. Becky Rodriguez. Becky Rodriguez has been hanging out with us all day, so check her out on uh, hum- what's your human place? Human place with but- a three. With the use a three, right? Human places, the use a three. Human place, but the E is a three. That was close. Human place, E is a three, and you can check out all of our pictures. Great. Take a yeah. bunch of behind-the-scenes awesome, pictures awesome here. comedy pictures up there. And uh, Christine and me just bought a car. Got a whip. That's got right. yourself a fucking whip, dude. We're going to go pick it up tomorrow morning. I'm very yeah, yeah. excited. I'm, I think I'm going to bring Red Dead with me to Winnipeg. When we come, you should. And when we come back on Monday, we'll have Tales of Jacob's House. Yes. What happened? Did we all f- get oh, fucked fuck. by ghosts? No, you can't talk about it until Tuesday, because i got to film Billions on Monday. I'll see how I feel. What, what? if great stuff happens? Stop. I wouldn't do it to oh, you. Oh, we could talk about it with Shane on Monday. That's true. Shane will come in on Monday. Bitch. Gonna, and Shane's going to come. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, what, to yeah. Jacobs? I already invited him. You can uninvite him. That was going to look really bitter of you. That's cool. Justin will probably come to the set of Billions and we'll just talk. No. So, for no, no, he won't. So, for no, he'll come don't take here. all the guest hosts, Dan. No. Somebody <laughs> come started, when you can't be here. You started this fucking war and I'm going to end it. <laughs> for no, yeah. Justin, assemble. You drew first blood, not me. You drew first blood. You took Shane, not me. I love you, Dan Soto. You're irreplaceable. You. But I, I know you. you're not going to be here Monday. But we will you, talk about it all on Tuesday. Day, and I will be here Monday with a guest host, Shane. <laughs> and uh, on the behalf of the whole crew, we love you guys. Crackle, crackle. crackle Enjoy crackle. your weekend. Bing. Enjoy the lost tapes.